the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame opened their season last week. Jarius Jackson danced past Kansas, but he wasn't perfect. The Irish quarterback threw three interceptions and raised Michigan's hopes. This year, the guns are reloaded. Two Michigan quarterbacks are ready for another title run. Saturday afternoon, Michigan hosts Notre Dame. Now, Tom Brady will be the starting quarterback. We will see Drew Henson at some point. Was this a tough decision for a coach to make to start Brady here? Well, I got help with the decision. Brady had an outstanding year last year. He's a fifth-year senior, so he's paid his dues. His teammates really appreciate him, and this week they made him one of their captains. So Carr has made his decision, but he made it with an overwhelming endorsement of his football team. And finally, out of the tunnel, it's Michigan and Notre Dame, a classic coming up on ABC. Well, they open up. Tony Fisher, the sophomore, the 225-pound runner, set in the eye behind Joey Goodspeed. A play fake on first down, plenty of time, going deep, incomplete. <laughs> Check that. On the run, they come right back with Fisher. Jackson used a timeout here because he wants to stay in third and two and see if they can pound out the first down here with Fisher. Great defense that time by Tommy Hendricks. The strong safety from Houston, Texas comes flying and forces the Irish to punt. And he's not all that worried about the quarterback controversy. He told us yesterday, if he lets that consume it, his thoughts, he won't perform well. Anthony Thomas, the feature back for the Wolverines. Play fake, they too will throw the screen though, and they use Shea, the fullback, down the near side and run out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Here is the receiver as Wolverines open with the screen, come back with the A-train. Thomas moves the pile. First down, Michigan. The toss. The A-train runs left. Down at the 36-yard line. Cooper making the stop. Looks and Franco's for the same reason you like the special team. Brady back. Fires complete to Marquise Walker, who is drilled. But not until he reached the first down marker. A very well-thrown ball. Dever and Harper with coverage over there at the corner for the Irish. We've never had two guys here at the same time that um, are as close competitively as uh, Tom Brady and Drew Henson. And um, I wanted to try to settle it uh, either in the spring or in fall training camp. And, um, you know, I, I think... Uh, it may have to be settled on the field with the performance. And score that one for Brady. He put it right on the numbers for David Terrell, the 6'3 sophomore, hitting with a perfect pass inside the 10-yard line. First down, Tom Brady, nice play. Tom told me yesterday he likes to throw this deep in route because it gives him an opportunity to show off his arm. The big body of Terrell shields Clifford Jefferson away from the ball. That is a definite advantage for Michigan today. They have big wide receivers going against small corners for Notre Dame. Anthony Thomas sets up seven yards deep. Searches daylight, cuts back, and down at the six-yard line. It'll be second down and goal for the Wolverines. It was really... This time, Brady caught by 
the fullback. Made a nice catch on the ball. Didn't gain anything. In fact, he probably lost a yard over there. But Aaron Shea, a one-time tight end. Wolverine set up with two tight ends. Here's the A-Train searching outside and nothing doing. Field goal time as Ronnie Nix makes a fine play defensively for the Irish. It may not. So again, coach telling us that Jeff Del Verne would handle the short attempts. He would use Epstein only on the long ones and the kickoffs. The holder is the quarterback, Tom Brady. After a first and goal inside the 10, good defense by the Irish. And Wolverine strike first. A 21-yard field goal by Jeff Del Verne. And Michigan takes a 3-0 lead. But Notre Dame takes heart in the fact that it was first and goal inside the 10, and they did not give up the 7, they gave up the 3. Driver. Back in. Nelson's the motion receiver. Driver. Fumble! Michigan indicates they've got it. Let's wait for the official signal. There were a couple of big Irish paws battling to get it back down there on the bottom, but they do not. Michigan. Time remaining in the first. Wolverines with one field goal. Here comes the A-train cutting back and downhill. Still battling all the way to the 25-yard line. He was an express that time. 31 yards for the A-Train. Michigan goal victory lost January 1st. Come right back with it. Big hole. Slants to the 14. And yesterday, we Brady. Knight out of bounds. Pushed out of bounds. NFL, that's a judgment call if he's carried out, but not in the college game. Fourth down and three. Del Verne already with a 21-yarder. This from 35 yards out, and he's two for two. So Jeff Del Verne makes it six zip. Michigan over Notre Dame. So let's see what they come up with here on third and goal. Tony Fisher is the tailback. He's in behind Lopinski. Oh, a beautiful call into round, and Joey Gatherall walks into the end zone. A great call. And there's the man who sent it in. And Notre Dame leads for the first time today. The crowd now recognizing the fact that Hinson has come on the field. They'll go without a huddle, and now it is Brady who will be on the headphones to upstairs. And Hinson into the wind, fires first play of the game, and it very close to a first down at the 30-yard line. We'll see. And All right, John, and here we've got Drew Hinson putting it. The A-Train's belly, five more yards for Michigan, and a Johnny Sanders, the strong safety for the Irish, makes the stop. And here is his ambition, third and four, fires first down again. Two for two, he puts it in Terrell's hands that time for the Michigan first down. I'd like to put some hands on that helmet, though, Jack. That bounced a few off helmets. Third down, hits into the middle of the road, first down. You talk about a rifle arm. Here's a young man who was a pitcher way back when, but said he did not want the stress and strain on his arm, moved over to third base, and folks, that was a bullet of 25 yards. Well, you hear words like this, sensation, he's a phenom. This is what they've seen in practice. A rope of 25 yards right on the numbers to the receiver. Knight doesn't even have to think about anything, but how hard that ball's gonna hit him in the chest. Here's the A-train, slamming through the middle. Irish bringing down at the 28-yard line. Deep Cooper, their fine free safety. Third down. Hanson 
pulls it down. Short. Well short of the first down. Well defended that time by the Irish. Knight was trying to work his way free in the middle of the field, and they simply would not give up. So Jeff Delvern attempting to regain the lead for Michigan. 37-yard attempt. Tom Brady, the holder. And he does just that. Three Delvern field goals. They regain the lead on Notre Dame, 9-7. Timeout. Now they send Holloway, the tight end, wide to the left, come back with the fullback, and good speed. Pounds to the 26 with Eric Wilson bringing him down for the Wolverines. Closing minute five here at the half. Fake, Jackson fires, incomplete penalty flag. And the penalty has been called on Todd Howard, the corner. So an automatic first down. Pass interference, defense. It's a spot foul, automatic first down. The blitz is picked up beautifully by the fullback. Oh, what a block. And now Jackson dances to the end zone. Touchdown, Notre Dame. But what a block by Joey Goodspeed, who picked up the linebacker and crushed him. Now watch the Jones on the blitz. He's got the alley. Watch this. Stands him up. Now he holds the block. And Jarius cuts back. Jones has no chance. And Jackson simply does the rest. Notre Dame 14, Michigan 9. Timeout. As Tom Brady, who was 4 of 6 for 37 yards, leads the Michigan offense out. And the big man for them, of course, is the A-train, Anthony Thomas. Brady to put it up on first down. He's got Terrell on a cutback. 45. Down at the 48-yard line as the DB slipped on the pass. Second down for Brady. Shea, the fullback. Play fake. Thomas got a block. Good. Terrell's hands. First down, Michigan. We go down below now and check in with Jack Aru. Jack. Second down. Play fake, deep drop. Complete. And Marcus Knight, the senior wide receiver, drilled out of bounds, but not before he picks up another Michigan first down. Short drop, fired again, got Terrell inside the 15-yard line. Pick up about seven yards that time. Come back now with the A train. And the safety, Sanders, hanging on as he pounds close to another Michigan first down. Toss, A train. First down. Fires knocked away. Penalty flag. A penalty has been called on Devlin Harper. Shea over there on the left wing. Let's see if they bring in the motion to the middle. Here they come. And Shea, touchdown, Michigan. So after three field goals, the Wolverines finally pounded in, and Tom Brady probably has set the quarterback the rest of this game, the way they look here. Take a close look here. Coming right at you. Shea the lead man. Anthony Thomas does the rest. And the Wolverines regain the lead. 16-14. Timeout. Fisher outside. Hendricks in pursuit. Fumble. Michigan pounces on it. Tommy Hendricks is a little bit of everywhere that time. And Josh Williams pounces on the loose football. Tom Brady from the Notre Dame 42-yard line. Play fake. 
Gonna go deep. No. First down inside the 25-yard line. Ty Streets is gone, but Marcus Knight is stepping up as the go-to man here this afternoon. And he's stepping up for his quarterback, Tom Brady. Love the call from Mike DeBoer, the coordinator, after the turnover. Look at his time to throw. He's got two receivers deep. That's a perfect strike between two defenders. Brady is hot. Terrell split to the right. Knight's the slot man. This time it's Terrell on a wobbler. At the 15-yard line by Anthony Denman. A-train's got a block by Shea. Stood up right at the 10-yard line. Clifford Jefferson has returned at that right corner spot for the Irish. He'll take Terrell. Brady looks in that direction. Goes over the top. Knight in the air and out. Harper had the coverage. Del Verne you can see the distances of the three field goals he's been successful on. He can add a 27-yarder to that total, and I believe he slid it right. He misses. Three for three in the first half, misses his first in the second. Quarterback draw play it looked like all the way, but he just didn't make it look good enough, did he? From here, anyway, James Hall out of New Orleans. Linebacker making the stop for the board. He's got a linebacker. There's a call by Hendricks. He audibles in the defense. Jackson in trouble. Fumble. Ball loose on the eight. And I'll tell you, Holloway went after it. Did they call him down before he coughed it up? No they, no, they didn't, Brent. Uh, they threw the beanbag in there to, to mark that it was a fumble. Here's third down and 27. And the Wolverines are storming defensively all of a sudden. Tough to hear down there. High snap. Jackson pulls it down. Dancing down at the two-yard line. It was Hall and Renis. The nose man from Holland, Michigan. One of the three captains in on that stop. Brady gets time. Fires to Shea. Slants first down. Michigan. First down. Open man. Beautiful look back to Terrell for another first down at 12 well, more yards. We talked a lot. The headphones listening to the play calls from up in the booth. The A train stumbling as he reaches the 10 yard line. So they'll need about a good four to five yards for a first down on this next play coming up here, Dan. So the spot left Michigan five yards shot here on third down. Brady to fire. Slant. Terrell knocked away beautifully. Jefferson. Over there on that corner has come back in the game and he makes a big time play defensively for Notre Dame. Now, a 28 yard attempt. Remember, young man just missed a 26 yarder, hit three in the first half. Got this one right down Broadway, didn't he? Nailed it. And that puts him on a five point margin right now. Michigan 19, Notre Dame 14. Of course, Gibbons was near it. Five yards away. <laughs> Second down and ten for the hour. Jones has picked up. Fisher sprints outside to Hendricks this time. Looking just a little bit healthier on that play. Third down and nine. Jackson is eight of 16 for 139 yards. Here's his 17th pass of the day. Got him. Beautiful grab by Hunter. Using the shotgun, wall of protection all day, overthrew, intercepted, picked off by Hendricks. A very poorly thrown football, over the head of the intended receiver. First down and 10, fake to Walter Cross, who's in the game, throw the screen to Shea, and Shea is nailed at the 35 by Denman. Well, it's interesting to uh, talk about throwing the ball in that situation. First down for Michigan. And uh, 
Well, let's go to Dan Fouts. In second down, Michigan. And there was movement. Again, penalty flags down. And the A train just batters away. And if it's against the Irish for jumping in there again, they'll decline it. Difference between offsides and Offside, defense, penalty is declined. First down. And now let's check in with John Saunders on an update of New York. John, to that. Mr. Hoops, Dick Vitale on the other side, suffering a little bit. Keen Notre Dame football fan. Here's the A train. Anthony pounds back to the 35 yard line. Coach said they could decide it on the field, and if so, Brady's the starter. Here he comes again. Going for Walker in the end zone. Incomplete. Twin scoreboards here at either end of the big house, so everybody under 11,000 with a chance to see it. Incomplete. And back over the middle, and uh, Walker unable to hang on. Lee Lafayette, the corner. Quick drop. First down and thin side. Inside the 45-yard line, Patman pounds him out of bounds. Jack a root. First down and 10. Good pair of hands on Jerry's. Middle's open. Got him. Evans upended at the 28-yard line. But oh, were the Wolverines soft that time until Patman delivered the blow on Gibbons. 556 remaining in regulation. Second down. Notre Dame. To the middle, Gibbons twists. But short of the first down by about three yards to Honey Jones, the linebacker, dropping off. A little confusion, though, in that backfield right now. Four wide outs high. Got Nelson battling for the first down. I'm not sure he got it. Well, he he was locked up with Todd Howard. Did they give it to him? Well, they got a great spot. I think it's still going to be short, but the official ran in, and uh, it's only going to be short by six inches or so, and that may tempt Bob Davey to go for it on fourth down. They are going to throw. Shades of Desmond Howard. They'll walk in for a touchdown. Pull away the receiver. Kevin Rogers makes the play call upstairs. The Irish called timeout because they want to go for two. Jackson went over, took the entire offense over there to get the instructions. Well, who knows what they're going to come up with here after that last fourth down call. Jackson sprints, dumps, got it. And those two are huge as he hits Bobby Brown for the two-point conversion with 4.08 to go. 1991, I was down here and it was Michigan had the ball. Notre Dame has been smarting about this play for an entire decade. Fourth and inches. And Elvis Gerback went for it. And Desmond Howard made the catch. And now, 1999. Notre Dame comes back, and on fourth and inches, they come up with their own brand of lightning. This is a 15-yard penalty. That means Michigan is going to have wonderful field position after this return. That's a huge penalty. Look who's back to return the kickoff, the A-Train. And he wants this one to be an express. Number 32. three-yard line right up the gut and to the 43 let's go to Jackaroo Jack Brady got an open man to tight end Sean Thompson and Thompson first down Michigan and a penalty flag probably a late hit out of bounds over there around the Irish bench at the 43 Terrell and Gibbons with a few words for each other that's two unbelievably bad penalties for Notre Dame in just a couple of minutes. The celebration penalty, and now after the play, 
that hit along the sidelines right in front of Bob Davey by Ron Israel. A real cheap shot and a very expensive cheap shot at that because now Michigan is well within range for Hayden Epstein. And Wolverines. A train makes the most of it. A train gets some time off and Walter Cross checks in. Brady to throw. Terrell got it. Five yard line. First and goal, Michigan. Eight catches for 115 yards for Terrell, who is split out to the right. Knight is in the slot right. The A train back. Here he comes. Hounds up toward the one yard line. Shea and Evan Coleman. And the A train gets the call. Got it. Hold on. Was he down? Was his knee down? The Irish are there. The official's going to say that Devin Harper got him down. Before he went in the end zone, his knee touched. And Notre Dame calls timeout quickly. Check it out. The fans don't like it. But that left knee just seemed to brush the grass. Are you sure? Well, I hope to be after I see this picture. Watch the left knee. Oh, man, you know this grass is an inch and a half long. Maybe it's grown a little in the last couple of minutes. Hmm. Tough call. Timeout. A train. On the toss. Runs wide. Bows in for the end zone for the touchdown. are left with a minute 38. They trail it by four. Field goal won't help Davey. Nothing's ever easy when it's Notre Dame and Michigan. George Hill, spotter Brian Mobleson down in the computer room. Anthony Holman, College Football Today, produced by Charles Coplin, directed by Calvin Haywood. Great job as we have a full Saturday on ABC. 1.38 to go now. First down for the Irish. Shotgun. Jackson deep overthrows Nelson. 133 to go. 26-22. Michigan leading it. And Jackson. Got time no more. Down at the 20, it was James Hall. Third down and 10. The Irish have spent their timeouts. Deep middle, Nelson's got it. Clock stops, first down. Notre Dame not out of bullets yet. 36-yard completion. Now 44 yards away. Remember, field goal won't help. No timeouts. To the middle. Need a first down. Hunter didn't get it. Clock continues to run. That was Dahani Jones making the stop for Michigan. Got to move quickly. The Irish cannot waste a second. Got the first down. Once he goes down, clock stops. At the 21-yard line. Gibbons and Nelson, the wideouts. In trouble, throws it out of bounds, second down. Good pressure by James Hall. Here they come with Brown, Gibbons, and Nelson. Fisher, the running back, to block. In trouble. And down at the 31-yard line. No timeouts. The clock ticking away. Jones with a huge play defensively. 
Great call in the secondary. They brought the weak safety, Dwayne Patman. He and Jones got in there on the quarterback with a big sack. Now 31 yards away. Jackson. Jackson. Middle. Got Nelson, but short of the first down. Clock runs. He's got it down. Can he get it down? Not enough time. Michigan wins it. for one more timeout. The Fighting Irish are saying right here. The key play was the safety blitz by Dwayne Patman that took the Irish because they had no timeouts out of the ball game. It's a game of inches. Nelson with the reception came up about six inches short of a first down that might have stopped the clock. Here's the sack. Jones and Patman Jackson can't get away. Huge play. Great call by Jim Herman. He goes in to celebrate. Congratulations. Thank you, Jack. It was a great football game, and I, my hat's off to Notre Dame. Both teams played their hearts out, and uh, that's about as exciting as it'll ever get. How typical is this of a Notre Dame-Michigan contest? Well, it's uh, typical of a lot of those games. Right down to the wire, they never quit, and... Uh, when you're on the field, they get the ball down there with a few seconds and a chance to win. I don't think, I think it says everything about what college football is all about. Now, you went into the game a little bit determined as I want to see Brady, I want to see Henson. You said, I want to see what happens in the game. What about now? Or do we have a quarterback controversy we anymore? Two great quarterbacks, two great ones. He's still mum on it, guys. Well, I don't think we are because our Chevrolet players of the game will honor the young man Tom Brady who came back and sparked that victory in the second half leading the Wolverines to the win today. Jarius Jackson standing tall for Notre Dame and a $1,000 contribution to each university general scholarship fund and don't forget now Chevrolet also donates $1,000 to a couple of high schools for Jackson and Brady. Michigan wins its opener 26-22.